Hey, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Welcome to Tamarindo, Costa Rica. The weather is really, really beautiful today. It's early in the morning. It's already hot. The sun is shining. I cannot wait to hit that swimming pool and go for a walk on the beach. I'm going to have a couple of episodes uh, for you in the very near future at a beach called Playa Grande, which is about a three and a half mile strand of beach. Uh, I have to wait until the tides are correct though. Uh, the tides have to be very early in the morning or else all you're going to be looking at is a ball of sweat and I don't think that's appropriate. So uh, let me work on the tides and figure things out and uh, we'll do uh, a couple of episodes from Playa Grande. Anyway, what are we gonna talk about today? Nipsey Russell, some of you may remember him. Great comedian. Uh, I remember him in the 60s and 70s. Uh, I didn't hear much after about that. I haven't done any research on him, so I don't know when he died. I'm sure he's dead by now. Uh, but I'm sure he was around in the 50s and so forth. But uh, he was a great comedian. Just a funny, funny guy. But he said something very interesting. I like to call today's uh, edition of the 5-Minute Motivator the value of not talking. Here's what Nipsey Russell said. Don't talk too much. Some people talk to you so they can talk about you. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, so many times in my, especially in my sales training, but also in supervisory management and leadership training, my, uh, when I do executive presence, uh, that's presence, not presence, presence. I tell individuals to hold something back. Don't necessarily let it all out. And I think that's very important. I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble with the selfie stick today. It seemed that I'm gonna have to figure out how to tighten it a little bit, so pardon me. But it would, it, 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 in a lot of situations, individuals will implore you, compel you, cajole you to talk so they could find something out about you that they will use to talk about somebody else. To talk to somebody else about you. And I think that's something we need to be cognizant of. The whole value of interpersonal communication is to grow the relationship. Some people don't like that. Some people think that one of the best things they can do is to get the upper hand on you and they will communicate with you appropriately. So here's the end result, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very, very simple process. The end result is simple. Shut up. Don't necessarily talk too much. If you can do that, what will happen is that you will be looked at as a person who likes to ponder, who likes to think. Now there's a delicate balance between not talking and being aloof. You have to make sure that you don't cross that line. If you don't, have a great feeling that the end result is going to be that you are not going to give people ammunition to talk about you. Hey, think about it. What more could you want from an interpersonal relationship? This is Bill Shocker. Thank you for attending another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Looking forward to seeing you in the next. Don't forget, like, share, comment. Don't forget, join the memberships. Talk soon. Bye.